for that Colton and every woman remembers the night they went to prom and one local Okemos High School student wants to ensure that her classmates have an unforgettable experience. And we're talking to Gracie Shaw this afternoon. Welcome into Studio 10. Thank you. It was so great to have you here because I heard about your initiative and I think this is just incredible mm -hmm. that you have spearheaded this. But tell our viewers a little bit about what Project Prom Greater Lansing is all about. Yeah, so Project Prom is a dress donation drive mm -hmm. in which we're, we're collecting dresses from our community and then we'll have hosted weekends in April that anybody can come and get dresses for free to try and make prom a little more accessible and mm -hmm. sustainable. That is awesome. Now, how yes. did you realize that there was a need right here in our Greater Lansing community for this? Yeah, I was actually shopping for my winter formal dress and I was yeah. shopping online, so you have to order so many dresses. Yeah. And I wore it once, put it in the back of my closet and it felt so wasteful and kind of expensive. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's so amazing that as you being so young, you still realize that this is such a great need for girls here because yeah. you just said, hey, this is winter formal that <laughs> you had, plus there's homecoming, plus mm -hmm. there's prom. And a lot of times we wear these dresses just once and then you put them away. Absolutely. Uh, but prom is only a couple weeks, a couple of months away for some of you. What have been the, some of the conversations at school been like? Honestly, I think it's coming so fast. It's right before my graduation, mm -hmm. so everyone's trying to find a dress, a group, and just make plans. Yeah, and it's not just that because it's, it's the dress, mm -hmm. it's the shoes, it's, it's the okay. hair, it's the nails. <laughs> the accessories and you've been able to collect a lot of those why don't we take a look at some Absolutely. of these dresses that you've been getting because i noticed they're in a range of different sizes different colors it is that we have mm -hmm. um so have you been able to give out any of these dresses just yet so not yet we're doing the weekends in april but mm -hmm. we have collected so many different dresses yeah. every size for different ages different events yeah. it's definitely not just prom dresses yeah and so tell us about some of those accessories as well that you've yeah. received so we've gotten quite a few heels and like dress shoes and then clutches, yeah. some nice accessories to go along with the That's dresses. Awesome, and you guys yes. have surpassed your goal, yes. tell us. Our goal was 150 and we're at about 250 now, That's so. That is yes. amazing. And now you support. said what you guys are working on is sanitizing all of those gently worn dresses so yep. this way we can hand them out. Tell us those dates that girls can come and join you. Yeah, so on weekends, I believe April 14th, 27th, and 28th. That is amazing. Yes. And for all those girls who will get a chance to put on this prom dress, what are you hoping that they feel when they get a chance to put this on? I hope it, they find their dream dress. It's kind of giving these dresses a second life, and I hope it brings them as much joy as the first time they were worn. That is amazing, and I yes. hope you have an incredible prom <laughs> night as well. And I know your classmates will too, so thank you so much for stopping by and joining us here. And we're continuing to uplift women right here on Studio 10. After